Alright, so the Epic Games Store is pretty stacked right now because GTA V is free in case you don't know. And this intro will not be that long, so first I apologize for the really bad haircut. Second thing is that, yeah, these are the methods that I've used before to play GTA V on a low-end PC. And before we get into it, I just want two things from you. The first one is I want you to tell me what do you think about this, like, new setup. Does it look good? Is it better than the previous one? And the second thing is, if you are new to the channel, subscribe 100%. I, I don't like, you know, asking people to subscribe because it feels like you're, like, throwing it at him. The thing is, you know, every time I don't ask people to subscribe, they don't, and when I ask them to do so, they do. It's pretty weird how YouTube algorithm works, so I apologize for that. And, you know, I'm not gonna make it any long, let's get to it. Alright, my dudes, so here's one of the ways that you could do it. But before you actually edit the settings, you just have to set everything to the lowest in game. First thing is that you go to my documents, Rockstar Games, find the settings, notepad, right click, and then hit edit. The first thing that you're gonna find in the graphics, you know, area, you're gonna find LOD scale value. You're gonna set that to like zero point, a lot of zeros, or you'll do like what I did, which is negative 0.5. And then what's right under it, which is LOD bias value, you're gonna set it to like 0.1. I haven't tried uh, to set it under that, so you might want to try that yourself if you want to and everything else is set to zero like shadow quality for example you have to set that to zero because it disables shadows every single thing like is set to zero shadow distance doesn't even matter because hey remember we actually disabled shadows there so you can feel free just to take a look at my settings and copy it now i will leave down in the description the commands that i have edited because if i left everything i edited it kind of makes the game choppier when you copy it and you like paste it in your settings i'll make sure to leave you down in the comments the things that i have edited now here comes the tricky part which is i have done it on valorant before but on actually gta v is not that you know as easy so the first thing you're gonna do is to you'll hit the location where you install gta v then you're gonna like make a new doc which is right click new the new document and then you're gonna type command line this is the name of the new document and then like you're gonna type full screen with 640 height is 480 and this is the resolution that i am going to use which is the lowest i believe and uh, you can feel free to change the res if you want to but this is the one that i'm going for lod scale is set as 0, 0.0 vehicle load bias is set as 0 0.1 ped load bias is set as 0 0.1 again i'll leave it down in the description if you just want to copy that and you know paste it in your command line which doesn't make the game any choppy so yeah feel free to do it then you're gonna do that thing that makes your pc kind of like zoomed in and i recommend you to do that when you only play the game and once you're done or finished with playing the game you should set it back to the default res your monitor was on so yeah you're gonna like right click display settings if you're windows 10 or screen res i believe if it's windows 7 but i'm pretty sure you could find it then you're gonna hit advanced display settings then display adapter properties then list all modes then go all the way down to like 640 by 480 with the highest hertz uh, you find on your actual monitor because it's variable depending on your monitor you know to 75 hertz it doesn't affect the performance of your pc but it makes the game smoother in a way it's okay if you couldn't find that 75 hertz thing then you click on ok and then you click on apply and here we are with the really bad zoom out you know method after you've done that you are going to go to gdav and this is where it gets really tricky you have to do something to apply you know 640 by 480 res which is go to graphical settings and then change it to windowed mode and then go to all the way down to 640 by 480 so yeah it will be really zoomed in once you do that and apply it so you will not be able to see anything so this is what i've done i pressed on the right arrow key once then i applied it of course and then it hit me back to like windowed full screen nothing changed and then i pressed on the arrow key again so i can went to full screen it's a really like confusing method but i actually you know i think it makes your performance better all right so there is one more thing i forgot to talk to you about which is you go to advanced graphical settings and then you go to frame scaling mode and then change it to 0.5 which gives you a lot of performance uh, and this is not a tweak it's just a graphical settings that i think you should know about again you are on full screen now after you press on apply and there you have it you know so that's been it guys if you like that video you know where to go press on that like button and of course subscribe to see more videos of that kind because we have like extra two or three and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching and peace